It is Pentecost Sunday, 50 days after Easter. The word Pentecost means 50. And it's the day we celebrate God's Spirit, the day we remember the breath of Christ within us. Here is the prayer for the day. O God, who on this day taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending to them the light of your Holy Spirit, Grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in the Spirit's holy comfort through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I have three hymns today, which, each of which are prayers to the Holy Spirit. The first one is from the Episcopal Hymnal. Number 503. Come, Holy Ghost, our souls inspire, enlighten with celestial fire. Thou the anointing Spirit art, who dost thy sevenfold gift impart, thy blessed unction from above is comfort, life, and fire of love. Enable with perpetual light the dullness of our blinded sight. Anoint and cheer our soiled face with the abundance of thy grace. Keep far our foes, give peace at home. Where thou art guide, no ill can come. Teach us to know the Father, Son, and thee of both to be but one. That through the ages all along, this may be our endless song. Praise to thy eternal merit, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And this is from the Gospel of John. The disciples were gathered together behind locked doors because they were afraid of the Jewish authorities. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After saying this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were overjoyed at seeing the Lord. Again, he said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I send you. And then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. And this hymn is from the Methodist hymnal. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Melt me, mold me, fill me, use me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. And let us gather the prayers of our hearts using the words our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us 
from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And one final hymn, this one from an ecumenical hymnal. Come, Holy Spirit, heavenly dove, with light and comfort from above. Be thou our guardian, thou our guide, for every thought and step preside. The light of truth to us display, and make us know and choose thy way. Plant holy fear in every heart that we from thee may never depart. Lead us to Christ, the living way, nor let us from his teaching stray. Lead us to holiness, the road that we must take to dwell with God. Lead us to heaven that we may share fullness of joy forever there. Lead us to God, our final rest, to be with Him forever blessed. Almighty God, we entrust all who are dear to us to your never-failing care and love for this life and for the life to come. And we trust that you will do for them better things than we can desire or pray for through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Life is short, and we don't have too much time to gladden the hearts of those with whom we journey along the way. So let us always be swift to love and make haste to be kind. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and everyone you love and the whole earth today and always. And let us rejoice in the power of the Spirit. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.